Right. Do I look presentable? So today we're going to um, try to update our phones to iOS 11, which just was announced and uh, well last week. And today it's available for everybody to download. So um, go to your settings and then uh, software update. Look for update. And that's what I did, and it's downloading right now. And um, it's a six minutes waiting, so I'm gonna wait. And we're gonna wait some more. And then we're probably gonna wait a little bit more. I'm still waiting. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting. Uh, I'm just going to read you while I'm waiting. I'm going to read you the new updates. What, why, why should you update your phone? iOS 11 brings hundreds of new features to iPhone and iPad, including an all new app store, a more proactive and intelligent Siri, My goodness, how about somebody else, like call her Stephanie or Cynthia or I don't know, somebody else, Siri, just Siri is not, she's not, she's not okay. Somebody else. Updating, no, Walter. Let's give Walter a try, anybody but Siri, really. Improvements to camera and photos and augmented reality technologies to enable immers immersive experiences. Like we're not immersed enough in our phones yet. Like literally all day long, we stare on our, in our phones, which I can't even do because I can't see this close anymore, I'm old. iOS 11 is also the biggest release for iPad ever, ever and adds powerful new multitasking features, a new files app, and more ways to use Apple Pencil. I would love to use Apple Pencil on my iPad mini, but for some reason you didn't update that, you didn't in, 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 but for some reason you didn't integrate that into my iPad mini. So now my iPad mini, I can't use it with the Apple Pencil. I would. Shut up and take my money. I would give you $150 for this stupid pencil because it's amazing. I tried it in, in the Apple store and it's just amazing. But I don't want a big iPad. I love my small iPad. I, 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 I use it every day for reading and recipes and whatever not. It's a perfect size. Please. Well, we already discontinued it. What am I, who am I talking to? Okay, let's see. Three minutes remaining. I'm sure I talked more than two minutes. Oh man. Really? Waiting. Waiting. Two minutes remaining. All right, App Store. All new apps are designed for discovering great apps and games every day. A new today app, tab, new today tab, helps you discover new apps and games with stories, how-to guides, and more. 
New Games tab to find new games and see what's most popular with top game charts. Mm -hmm. Dedicated Apps tab with top picks, dedicated app charts, and app categories. If you say app one more time, I swear. App pages include more video previews, editor's choice badges, easier access to use ratings, and information about in-app purchases. Siri. I don't want Siri. I want Walter, please. New Siri voice is more natural and expressive. I don't see that. Translate English words and phrases into Chinese, French, German, Italian, or Spanish. Better. Siri suggestion based on your use of Safari and use mail and messages. I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Works with notes apps to create to-do lists, notes, and reminders. Okay. Works with banking apps for account transfer and balances. Yeah, right. Works with app that display QR codes. Okay. QR codes. A, a dead invention. Nobody uses them anymore. What the hell? Really? Apple? Hindi and Shaiganese dictation. Shanghainese. Shang, Shang, Shanghainese dictation. I don't know. Sorry for butchering this. I don't know how to explain. Camera. Portrait mode now supplies optical image stabilization, HDR, and true tone flash. Excuse me, I thought we already had that true tone flash. Oh, sorry, I don't have portrait mode because I have an iPhone 7. Photos and videos will take up half the space now with the new HEF. HEIF and HEVC image video formats, redesigned set of nine filters optimized for natural skin tones, automatically identify and scan QR codes. Oh, it's installing. And it went black. Now I can't tell you anything anymore because I'm stupid. I should have done that sooner, but whatever. Photos. I'm going to read it off the screen now because my phone is updating. Loop, bounce, and long exposure. Live photo effects. Okay. Live photos. Like, you know those photos that you push down and they're like, eh, 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 eh. And it continues like that. Mute, trim, or choose a key photo for live photos. Okay, so if you're doing live photos, that's a couple of seconds. Not the stupidest not screenshot's gonna be the preview photo. That's kind of good because I like live photos, but so far I cannot use them on anything but Apple. Memory movies automatically adapt content for portrait and landscape orientation. What are memory movies? Oh yes, my bad. They're those movies that the iPhone automatically makes with the photos that you take pictures of, like, you know, all the dishes that you ate last week. And okay. More than a dozen new memory type, including pets, babies, weddings, and sporting events, because we're going to so many weddings, right? I mean, I'm 49 now. I get barely invited anymore because I guess I have to wait a few more years before all of Thomas's friends get married. And then I'm not going to get invited either because... Who's inviting the, the mom of their friend? No way. People album is more accurate and stays up to date across devices with iCloud photo library, if you use it, because I don't. Animated GIF support. GIF, GIF, oh, who cares? Maps, indoor maps for major airports and shopping centers. Now that is, is something I'm waiting for. I am going to wait for another 15 years before this feature comes to Canada, but hell yeah, I get lost in malls all the time. Eric, can you help me find Sephora? It's around the corner. I don't know, I get lost. The last time I was half an hour straggling around the mall, couldn't find a bloody store. I was right there the whole time. Um, my airport, same thing. Oh my God, airports, so intimidating. Um, lane guidance and speed limit information was turn-by-turn -turn direction. Hallelujah! Finally, we're getting what 
the um, Garmin and 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 all these other little GPS's that are built in the car or you buy it off the market GPS they already have that speed limit thing the iPhone doesn't so you're driving merrily along and before you know it you're driving 200 and it was a 50 zone something like that um, one-handed zoom with double tap and swipe again get to see it like what can I just pinch whatever Interact with flyover by moving your device. Okay. Nice. Do not disturb while driving. Okay. I, I can see that's handy because automatically silences notifications while driving and keeps iPhone silent and display off. The display off thing, I, I wanna see what song's playing. Kind of, am I the only one? Optional iMessage auto reply to alert selected contacts that you're driving. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like that one. Very often I get a message and I really would like to just tell them, hey, I'll get back to you in two minutes when I, when I get there. I just, I can't respond right now. I'd love that because, you know, I'm such a popular person. Everybody asks me all the time. All right, um, what's next? New features designed for iPad. Do we, do we care about iPad right now? No, not really, right? This is the iPhone update. I am I, I'm, I am going to do the iPad later on and I, I'll tell you about that too if you want. But let's, let's leave it at that because um, this is almost done. So what I'm most excited about is, 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 is the driving thing. I really like that the maps inside malls again if you don't live in New York or in Los Angeles or maybe even I don't Philadelphia and Boston I don't know but if you don't live in any of these places San Francisco you're probably gonna have to wait until 2085 before this is going to be enabled in your area but at least it's a beginning so if I should ever go to San Francisco or Los Angeles or New York, I know that I'm not going to get lost in the, mall, in the mall there. So, yippee. And the automatic text reply to people that text you while you're driving, I think that's that's great. I, I love it. Bring it on. I mean, seriously, I'm going to use it all the time. Promise. Ah. Apple Store, who cares? Siri? Again, Sierra and I, we don't like each other very much. Siri doesn't get me. Like literally, she doesn't, she doesn't understand anything I'm saying because I don't know, maybe it's my accent or maybe it's because I'm very rude to her, but I tried to change her to the English, exp uh, the English pronunciation. That didn't work that well either. So yeah. I don't have a lot of hope for Siri, but that's what this update's for, so we'll see. All right. Enter passcode. Update complete. Oh, God. What's my password again? All right. So everybody's been updated to two... To, to, two-factor authentication now. I mean, I've already used that before, but if you haven't, fun times! Yay! So, it's not it's not easy anymore, but it's good. I mean, it's good. Everybody should be using two-step authentication, two-factor, or whatever they call it. Get started. Holy smokes. Oh, wow. Maps. App Store looks really different. Wow, it looks kind of goofy. I don't know. It looks less refined, more kiddish. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to play around with it for a little bit and hopefully also update my watch. And uh, I will update you with my findings uh, in regards to usability. And um, I will... Uh, let you know how it goes. So thanks for watching. Don't forget the thumb up thing, thumb down thing, whatever you just 
send me a message that you seen it like up or down I don't care just choose a thumb so I know that people actually watch this thanks for watching thanks for being here again or for the first time whichever and I'll see you in my next video have a good one we're sorry the number you have dialed is not in service at this time <laughs>